React defines itself as a library for building user interfaces. This refers to the main task of React. However, when we add the ecosystem of available tools, React is a complete solution for the development of applications, whether it is for the web, mobile, desktop, and even virtual reality. In this course, we will focus on React for the web. With React, we program using a component paradigm. The idea is that we can divide our application into a small reusable parts. These components can have UI, which is user interface, logic, which is behavior, and we can also add a specific CSS for that component. This means that we can style the user interface of the component by using CSS if we want to. We can send information to a component and receive data from it. React also supports libraries that help us with day-to-day -day application development tasks, such as routing, animations, forms, automatic tests, among others. React is a very famous library for the features it has that make it stand out from other options. One of them is that it is progressive. When we talk about a progressive library, we mean that we can adopt it incrementally in our existing developments. That is, we can use React in a small part of a web application without touching the rest. Thus, if we have a website that works with jQuery and then we want to modernize it, we can do it step by step. We can start with something as simple as a button and from there progressively migrate our site. React also offers us flexibility. React does not make assumptions about the tools you should use for your development. You are free to choose a tool for making HTTP requests, a tool for unit testing, a tool for routing, etc. This is attractive for development teams comfortable with the JavaScript ecosystem, as they have the freedom to choose the tools they like for each task. Another advantage of React over other libraries is the fact that it has a company like Facebook behind it. Facebook is the company that created React, and as such, they use it a lot for their solutions. They use it so much that they have thousands of React components running on production. This means that it is very likely that for the next few years, Facebook will continue to add new features and update React. You are not going to see React simply abandoned as has happened to other projects in recent years. React's efficiency is also very powerful. React uses the virtual DOM for efficient application UI updates. This makes updating the UI of our web application really, really fast without wasting resources, redrawing elements that have not changed. We will talk more about the virtual DOM in the future. Due to how widely it is used, React has a huge community of developers. This means that probably when you have a React question, you can Google it and quite possibly find an answer. Just at the time of recording this video, the React.js tag from Stack Overflow tells us that there are more than 280,000 questions asked. This widespread use of React also translates into high salaries. According to Udacity.com, in San Francisco, California, the average salary for a React developer is over $100,000 per year. In Germany, it is $53,000 per year, which is a good amount of money. This means that it is productive to invest your time in learning React to aim for better salaries in the future. In this course, what we are going to do with React is to program the front end, that is, the part that the user sees, the one that runs in his browser, the part that the user interacts with directly. We are now going to talk about the technology that we will use for the back end.